The Centers for Disease Control says tonight that the coronavirus that has claimed hundreds of lives and spread out of China and into Europe is likely to spread here in the United States. And we're here to bring you the facts, not fear. So the top question for most of us is how could the coronavirus affect me? Yeah, so Kaylee Tracy's on your side tonight, taking a look at the impact it could have on your ability to travel. We're still getting a lot of calls. People are still booking travel, so I don't. We're not seeing a huge impact at this point. Travel advisor Rosemary Reif Snyder says the coronavirus has not taken too much of a toll on business at Avondale Travel. We're telling them, just like anywhere you travel in the world, be safe, be mindful of your surroundings. Safety is always safety, and we remind them. Wash your hands, use your hand sanitizer. She says a handful of people have called and canceled trips out of the country, mainly to Europe, while others are concerned about the logistics of their trips. How am I going to get home? Rife Snyder says her advice to travelers is what it always is, get travel insurance. If you decide you don't want to go because you're nervous or afraid, they're not covering a cancellation just because, but they're very good. They've said if you get sick, if you have travel plans and you get sick, they'll cover that. But it's just, it's always good to have it when you leave the country. But before you make any big decisions, talk to your travel agent or airline and hotel. Think about where you're going to go. Think about what you want to do. Weigh the pros and cons. But I got to tell you, I'd travel tomorrow if I had the opportunity. Administrators at colleges on the first coast, on the other hand, are thinking about or already have suspended some study abroad programs. Study abroad heads at the University of North Florida suspended the spring and summer programs to China and are working to get students refunds. A spokesperson for Jacksonville University says its study abroad office is meeting this week about whether or not to suspend its summer program in Italy. They'll make that decision later this week. And Flagler College is moving ahead with summer exchange programs, but is creating a committee to monitor the situation. Kaylee Tracy, First Coast News, on your side.